In this video, I'd like to show you one of my personal favorite new features in PHP 8, and that is named arguments. The named arguments feature allows you to pass arguments to function out of order by referencing the argument name. Let's take a look at the first example. Here we will use one of the built-in functions called setCookie. With this function, you can set a cookie. If you take a look at the signature, then you can see that the name is required and all other arguments have default values. In PHP 7, if you wanted to create a secure cookie, you needed to pass all the default values yourself before you could set this to true. So it would look something like this. So my cookie, second argument value, I'm going to use the default, options, going to use the default, path, going to use the default, domain, going to use the default, and here, I could set it to true. Oh, and I made a small error here. And to my eyes, this isn't readable at all. In PHP 8, this problem is solved with named arguments. You can specify the name of an argument, so I'm going to use secure here, and then pass true. And this secure here references the argument with this name, and for all the rest, the defaults are being used. In my book, this is a big win. This not only works for built-in functions, but for your own functions and all methods and classes as well. Let's create a small example for that too. So I'm going to create a function called my function. This one accepts three strings, string A, string B, which has a default value, string C, which also has a default value. And we're just going to echo out those strings concatenated, so B, C, like that. And now let's call the function. So my function A is required. I am A. And if we don't need B, we can just specify the value for C. So I am C. And let's execute that. And you can see that we have I am A in the beginning, I am C at the end, and the B in the middle is left empty. If you wanted to, you could pass an argument for B out of order. I and B, like that, let's execute it. And in the result, you can see that I and B, even though it's called at the end, is being output in the middle. If you're using PHP Storm, you'll get a warning if you called named arguments out of order, and it can sort them for you automatically. And this isn't an alphabetical sort, it's sorted on the order that they're being defined here. Let's take a look at another example which I have in my clipboard, so you don't need to see me type all this. So here we define a simple class and just instantiate it. And I got a little typo here. This should be customer data. Let's run it. And you can see the customer data being dumped here. We have name, email, age, and the right values that we pass to it. What I want to show you with this example is that you can spread an array and the keys of that array will be used as the names of the parameters. So let's create an array of values and put the right keys in there. So here we'll have name John Doe. The email is john at example.com. His age is 21. Let's format it. And let's spread the values here. So I'm going to use values here and I'm going to spread them. So notice that the keys of this array match the names of the arguments here. Let's run this. And you can see that in our customer data object, we have the right values for the right properties. If I change the order here, that's allowed. So we still get the same object. A thing to note is that this will blow up if not all required property names are available as keys in this array, so this will blow up. We get an argument count error here, too few arguments. And also, if we have like a unexpected one, it will blow up as well. So, unexpected computer says no. Let's run it. And you can see that we have an uncalled error, unknown named parameter. Let's remove it again, and now it works. I think this could be very handy when you have an array of validated data 
that you might want to pass to some kind of data transfer object like this one. Now let's finish by taking a look at a real world example. You're now looking at the source code of a package that I've created that uses PHP 8. And the package functionality itself is not that important. I just want to make you feel the benefit of named arguments. So here we have a function called search route registered. And you can see here that we have one required argument and the rest is optional. Now in my test where this function is used, you can see that it looks quite nice. So for this test, we only need to specify the controller and the name. And for this one, we use the controller method and the URI. I think without named arguments, this code would be a lot more messy. A cool thing to note is that an IDE like PHP Storm does the writing when refactoring names. So if I do a rename refactor of this argument name, I'm going to call it my controller. You see that PHP Storm also changed it in other places where the named argument is used. And of course, it also changed it on the function itself. So hooray for PHP Storm having excellent support for named arguments as well. I like named arguments very much, and I hope that a lot of people will start using them.